What's up everybody, my name is Scott Waters and welcome to Life to Metal. Uh, today it's going to be uh, just a short video, it's going to be a contest response um, to Brother Lee, Noise Spectrum, uh, in the vinyl community on YouTube, and uh, I will put a link below to his channel. Uh, Noise Spectrum, a guy I've known, I think he's been in, well he definitely has been in the vinyl community for two years, um, because this is his two year contest, and um, so I've known him for two years, because <laughs> I think I'd was probably one of his earliest subscribers. Um, he's a metalhead like myself, shows a lot of hard rock and metal, um, has a killer collection, a lot of obscure stuff. Um, he's a Canadian and he, ha he has a very in-depth knowledge of Canadian hard rock and metal, which uh, I've learned a lot from him about those um, you know, Canadian bands. Uh, he's got a killer Bonsai Records collection, Bonsai being a metal label from the 80s um, from Canada. And uh, yeah, like I said, Brother Lee, he's a great guy. I never miss one of his videos. Um, didn't want to miss this chance at his contest either. Um, but like I said, two years in the uh, in the VC contest, and this is um, his two contest. He basically asked four questions. I'm going to answer all four. And uh, he, first of all, he said to show two underrated live albums. So uh, I picked. I had a hard time only picking two, um, and I wanted to pick a few, but got to keep it at two because this is his two year. Um, in the content in the in the vinyl community contest, so I'm gonna go with a newer album from the 2000s. Um, I believe it was like 2003. This is um, Hammerfall, One Crimson Night. Uh, Hammerfall, one of those few bands that was keeping real heavy metal alive during the 90s and 2000s when uh, heavy metal was considered a dirty word. These guys weren't playing, you know, death metal or death grind or any of the stuff that was popular back then um, definitely weren't paying any kind of new metal or you know and that kind of junk it was just straightforward heavy metal a lot of people consider them to be a power metal band all right well it depends what you consider power metal to be for me power metal has always been you know um, that mix of, of speed metal and and classic heavy metal that puts the band on the fence between thrash and heavy metal metal church being the prime example um, and Hammer Falls don't really fit into that. They also don't fit into that Euro style power metal because they're not all Dungeons and Dragons and all keyboard saturated. Uh, they're not all double bass. It's just straightforward heavy metal. Um, melodic, um, inspired by some very obscure bands. You know, you get your Judas Priest and Iron Maiden, but you also get, you know, obscure stuff like Warlord and, uh, you know, they, they do tons of great cover songs. Um, actually, they have a great cover album as well. But anyhow, two CD sets. I don't think it was ever released on vinyl. If it was, I don't have it. Um, just a great album, solid beginning to end, great sound, um, great crowd response, great energy, and great song selection. Um, my favorite song from them still, The Dragon Lies, was, Lies Bleeding, which is actually the very first song that I had ever um, heard from them, and the song that got me into the band. So, uh, Another one I'm going to go for is, this is an album that, uh, you know, you always hear people saying, uh, you know, the greatest live albums of all time, Kiss Alive, UFO, uh, Strangers in the Night. Teddy Jr. Double Live Gonzo, uh, Judas Priest, Unleashed in the East, uh, Iron Maiden, Live of Death. I mean, those are the ones you, see, you constantly hear, um, you know, as being the greatest live albums of all times. Uh, Deep Purple, um, in concert, uh, Made in Japan. Uh, you know, there's just tons of those albums that people consider to be like seminal live albums. And this one, I think, should be mentioned in that in that as well, and rarely gets mentioned. This is Pat Travers, um, Go for What You Know Live. And I have this one on vinyl and CD. Decided to show the CD today. Um, just a great album with the classic lineup. I mean, you've got uh, Pat Farr playing guitar with Pat Travers. You've got, um, uh, what's his name, Tommy Aldridge um, playing drums. Of course, Tommy Aldridge will leave soon and go to uh, Ozzy Osbourne, among other bands after that. Um, but yeah, just a killer album. I mean, what I liked about live albums is it takes and it gets an energy that you can't get in studio. And I think that's what Pat Travers captured here. Uh, every song just is, you know, good as the next. Um, heavy, live, uh, one of the great guitar players of the 70s, who's pretty much uh, not even mentioned much anymore, especially in the vinyl community, but definitely a worthy inclusion and a worthy album. Pat Travers, Go For What You Know, live. All right, next question was, find two albums with the word two in it. Not the number, had to be the word two. Um, I found several, um, but keeping it at two. Uh, I don't know what other people have shown, but I'm going to take a guess. Um, this is... Uh, Cry Holy, 10 from 2, T, W, O, 2. Um, this is a Christian, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, maybe adult-oriented rock, AOR type of band. Um, melodic rock, melodic hard rock, whatever you want to call it. Um, I have a, several albums from them. 
this was released on AOR Heaven, if that gives you any indication of the sound. Uh, Cry Holy, 10 from 2. And uh, Canadian band, since uh, we got our Canadian uh, contest going on here. Trooper, 2 for the show. GWO. And despite the name, this is not a live album. This is a classic studio album from a classic uh, Canadian hard rock band. So there you go. T-W-O. 2. Uh, okay, next up we've got... Uh, Two, let's see, I wrote it down here. Uh, two great second albums from any two artists. That was hard, because there's a lot, and I could have picked many. Um, this one might be obvious, but I thought, ah, I, got it. I can't not show this album. Judas Priest, and this is, uh, of course, Sad Wings of Destiny. Uh, their first album, Rock and Roller, was a good album, uh, but I think this was just, this is just a perfect album. This is Heavy Metal Defined right here, and this is early, this is what, 1975? 76, somewhere in that area. Um, 76. I mean, this is just as heavy as it gets. Um, great album, classic album, and one of their very best even today. No sophomore slump here. This was um, actually a stronger album than their first album. And this band, too, uh, one of my all-time favorite bands. If you watch my channel at all, you know. Uh, this is Aerosmith, Get Your Wings. Again, their first album was good. This album is great. Uh, Get Your Wings, uh, 1974. And uh, just not a bad song on here, song, same old song and dance, Lord of the Thighs, Space, Point of the World, SOS Too Bad, Train Kept the Rolling, Seasons of Wither, and Ending with Pandora's Box. Classic album um, from, from Aerosmith, 1974. So there you go, two albums, their second album, um, and very strong albums at that. Okay, and the last one was um, Favorite Record Labels. And you can take that a different way. Um, he said to, you know, indulge his inner geek. Um, for me, favorite record label. Uh, some people, a lot of people I saw were showing my favorite record labels because these labels look cool. I'm gonna just go with two of my favorite records because I like the stuff they put out and they have labels that look cool. Um, so first of all, I'm gonna go with um, Combat Records, and this happens to be. I just grabbed two albums. I got a bunch of stuff on Combat Records, but I grabbed two. This is a fourth entry, Uncertain Future, and I'm gonna keep it at two records. Again, two. Um, so there's the green. Camouflage Combat Label. Uh, this is fourth century album. Uh, it was the late 80s, late 88 or so, I think there was, maybe 89. And then uh, I also have, uh, I grabbed Dark Angel's first full length album, at least their first full length album on uh, Combat. This is, uh, well, let me show you the label first. Darkness Descends, again on the Combat Label. And this is the gray. Uh, combat label there's a, and there's several different ones there's a green one and uh, that's all green and there's, like I said there's several different combat labels but I just chose to show two to keep it for this two contest so there you go darkness descends by, by uh, dark angel and then forced entry on the combat label my other one I'm gonna show is uh, well, a label that I have a lot to do with and one that I love because um, they do good work um, they do quality products and they have cool record labels. <laughs> um, and this is going to be Rocks Records. And uh, this is uh, one of their newer releases. This is part of the Rocks Underground series. Um, this is My Band Ultimatum and Into the Pit. Um, but here's the, uh, here's the label itself. So you get a custom label on one side. And in the back always has the Rocks record in some form or fashion. Uh, always looks big like that with the, you know, with the with the Rocks barcode logo like that. However, it changes from album to album. For instance, here is uh, their recent release of Recon Behind Enemy Lines, and again, you've got the custom, in this case, camouflage. Uh, center ring on one side, and the back side is the Rocks logo, barcode logo. Again, matches the front with the, with the camouflage in the background, but it's still the same barcode logo. And then uh, I, I'm going to show one more, which is breaking the two rule, but uh, I want to show this one because they don't always look like that. Some of the simpler ones have the straightforward logo on the back. For instance, this is uh, the Rocks Underground Series Volume 1, One Row Vision. And uh, see, so you have a much simpler, straightforward Rocks logo here the barcode and the custom on this other side but this is just a black and white one more simplistic than the other ones so there you go 
two record labels, Combat and Rocks. Uh, two of my favorite record labels. So there you go, Brother Lee, take this as my entry into your contest, and thanks for putting it on. Congratulations on two years in the VC. Hope there's many, many more to come, because I very much enjoy your channel. I uh, hope you all who watch my channel will check out Brother Lee's channel. And uh, that is it. God bless. Stay strong.